tap, tap, tap. I moved into a new house a few weeks ago. More accurately, I moved into a duplex. I was finally getting out from living with my parents and I managed to find an amazing deal on this duplex. The best part was that no one was living in the other part. I remember asking the landlord why no one else lived there. She answered me with some story about some old lady passing away there or something like that. Apparently she had a heart attack one night while watching TV. I wasn't superstitious or anything, but this didn't really bother me. I was just happy to finally have my own place. The first night in the place, I was lying in bed when I heard tapping. It sounded like it was coming from my window, and I'll admit, I was wishing my parents were there with me. I reluctantly got up and grabbed my bat from under my bed before walking over to the window. I yanked the blinds up. There was nothing there. The next morning, I checked outside to see if there were any footprints in the snow. It was December when I moved in. There were none. I thought this was pretty creepy, but I had to go to work, so I didn't have much time to think about it. The second night, I heard a tapping once again. This time it was louder, and I was expecting it. I ran to the window this time and quickly opened the blinds. Still, there was nothing outside my window. My heart was racing like crazy at this point, and I felt like a seven-year-old during a thunderstorm. I decided to visit my parents the next two days. That was my excuse for getting out of the creepy duplex. I told them about the tapping, and they told me it was probably just a squirrel or something. It made sense since the house was only half a mile from woods. Still, my heart sank when I finally had to go back there again. I was laying in bed again the night after I got back. Of course, I heard a tapping, but this time I just shrugged it off. I was just going to believe my parents that it was just squirrel. However, a few seconds later, I heard a tapping again, but this time it was louder. There was no way a squirrel could hit my window that hard. I flipped on my light this time and ran to the window once again. I lifted the blinds and saw nothing outside the window. Instead, I saw something in the reflection of my window. Behind me was my TV, and in the TV, I saw the face of an old woman staring at me as she raised her finger to tap on the glass once again.